Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video from work. Okay, I woke up late, so I couldn't get one out before um, I got ready for work because I was kind of tired. Deborah's going to start us off. She says, Sonny will not like that Joss is interested in Dex. I don't think Joss will get pregnant. Might have a scare, but things between her and Dex, I suppose, will heat up. Can't stand. Can't stand not sure who um that's a good one Deborah. i'll go with that i really can't see them have you know making um joss a young mom right now so they probably will have like a little pregnancy scare and that'll probably be that and then but it might actually turn out that's how cam will find out that she messed around with dex because i do think she's gonna mess around with dex behind cam's back before she breaks up with him for sure uh, let's see. Patty Tomlin says, hello, Baroness. We hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yes, we did. And uh, the circle and I have been MIA due to being a little under the weather. Oh, no. And being buried under seven foot of snow. Oh, no. Where are you guys to where you got so much snow? Um, She continues to say, all is well. And we're back on track. I'm so glad the VA circle is doing well. I'm so glad. Um, we have a theory today. When Holly was in the cabin and she put the necklace on, could it be possible that she deliberately maybe set the fire and left the briefcase in the cabin to throw Victor to throw Victor off the trail? She had the necklace on so she could it so she could give it back to Robert. That was just our circle's discussion today. But as far as the jobs go, a few of them wanted to be sunny. Oh my up. Uh, VA people, you want to be mob people? <laughs> what? <laughs> and she uh, concludes and says, and a few of them wanted to be doctors. LOL. I think I would like to be the candy striper like Amy Vine used to be back in the day. So you could be on the down low and get all the gossip. Yep. And I will be calling you from the North Tower to see what you know. And then <laughs> that would be so funny. I'm surprised that the VA circle, a lot of them want to be uh, mob bosses. Okay. Um, Snow White says, as I think I said in the other thread, yes, I'm so sorry that y'all comments got lost. I, I'm so thank you so much for repeating. Um, she says, I suspect that it's a ploy with Holly to make it seem like she's dead and the necklace is missing, so he won't so he won't see her coming when she goes to free Ethan. Okay, we're gonna do the recap after this. What do y'all think now though? Because she came running out the cabin on fire. So at this point, we have a body and we know she was wearing a necklace or was she wearing a necklace? Put it in the comments. Did they show her take the necklace off and put it back in the briefcase or not sure? But it was not a good scene. But at this point, how would they bring Holly back from this unless she survived the fire? Linda White says, I think Chase is going to be Sasha's guardian and Gladys is going to be mad. Oh, that would be a good one. Oh, that would be great. And then Patty says, I hope that Chase gets his badge back and helps Sasha by tracking down the taking down the poker game and they find each other in the process. Both of you girls are on to something. Listen, I will take that. That is a wonderful idea. Um, want Sunny, and then I don't know what they're gonna do with the Blaze character. It looks like they're trying to do something with her. I don't really care right now what, but I like this idea to put Sasha and Chase together. Yes, Linda White says I think Ava is gonna be pregnant with Nicholas's baby. Um, that would be interesting, but I don't know about that one because she not too long ago had Avery. Avery isn't that old. Um, Ava's no spring chicken and it would be interesting and awkward, wouldn't it? Because Esme is having Nicholas's baby too. So who knows? We might be on to something. Listen, I've learned not to ignore y'all theories because come to find out a lot of them come out to be true. So we're just going to put that on the top shelf because you never know. You never know. We think right now we're thinking the shakeup might be Ava and Sonny getting back together and Nicholas and um, what's her face? Elizabeth. But hey, who knows? Because we thought that Felicia was going to be Esme's mom. And now look, you know, a lot of the hands said that it could be Olivia a long time ago or, um, Heather. And we ignored that. So Linda, I'm going to, I'm not going to ignore this. I'm not going to ignore you guys on this anymore. Ava could turn out to be pregnant. 
But who knows? We'll just have to keep our eye out. Good theory. Juanita Henry says, I really enjoyed this episode. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. And she says she loves Dante and Heather was painting a BLT. I figured that's what she was painting, but I know she said she had a block because of her neck or whatever. Carrie says, I like Finn. I hope they find someone good for him. I think he's a good guy, not Hayden. You don't like Hayden and Finn? I like Hayden's character. I think she could spice up Finn's character because his character is so blah. Uh, Stephanie Clark says, when is Hayden, com Hayden coming back? I'm team Finn and Hayden and the little daughter too cute. I love little Violet. She is so cute. Yeah, see, everybody likes Hayden and Finn. <laughs> hey, G. Coxford in the house. G. Coxford says, a while ago, one of the spoilers was saying that Curtis was going to be the next victim of the hook killer, but that never happened. I think the different spoilers say that they are sin, they sin are very confusing. I did see that spoiler a while back about Curtis um, was supposed to save Trina or something. But you know what? I had a spoiler when I did my spoiler about Cam was supposed to be the next hook. And it turned out he ran into Drew on the bridge. And it was, and then Heather was at the diner. So I was off on that one too. Sometimes, like in other channels defense or wherever you guys hear other spoilers, sometimes when we get the tea from our sources, it can be vague. Sometimes it's vague. Sometimes some people add on to it. I'm not saying a lot of people do, but I'm just saying it. we just, that's why I like to read word for word, like what I get in my spoilers with y'all, because I don't like to like add, like I might, you know, put in my own little commentary or spin on it, but I'll never add to the story because I don't, you never know what the writers might change their mind at the last minute. Stephanie Clark says, I'm not sure where Rory is supposed to be, but he did one episode of Chicago PD, and he's also in Wakanda Forever, a small scene, so let him be the hood killer and get rid of him. He's small enough to be a woman. Then he can then he can go, we got our, get our Sprina, and he can do his movies. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't know he was in um, the Black Panther movie. Good for him. Um, I haven't seen it. I usually wait for stuff like that to come on so I can stream it. I'll usually like if it you can you know you can pay to stream it or whatever I'll usually do something like that because I'm such a homebody or whatever but anyway I really hope see the last video I did they were saying um I can't remember I'm sorry I'm so sorry whoever told me that he got in trouble with something he said on the social media he said something that he wasn't supposed to say and that may be why we haven't seen him because you know they filmed the Black Panther movie a long time ago so I don't know, you guys. Put it in the comments if you know anything else about Rory. I haven't. I've been googling it and I haven't seen anything. I haven't even found whatever it is he was supposed to have said. You know, to get him canceled or whatever. I don't know. Um, Q Quebec says the way Ryan and Heather looked at each other makes me think perhaps Heather is Esme's mom. Put it in the comments, y'all. Do y'all think Heather? Heather is so crazy. How would she keep that a secret? <gasps> or maybe Ryan took the baby and she thought she lost the baby. I don't know. I'm going to stick with my source. I'm going to stand strong with my source when they said Olivia is supposed to come out to be her mom. So we'll see. But you might be right the way they looked at each other. Or maybe Heather assisted in taking Esme from Olivia. Not sure. Hey, Brooklyn is back. Hello, Brooklyn. Welcome back home, dear. Brooklyn says maybe Heather was involved with helping Ryan kidnap Esme. See, or I remember when Ryan was thinking to himself and saying, you don't want to know your mother is crazy. This was when Esme asked Ryan, who's my mother? Thanks for your time. Know that you're busy. I'm never too busy for this. I love doing this. I always will make time um, for my channel and you, you guys. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to go with you on that. I really don't think Heather is the mom. I think she knows who Esme's mom is and maybe assisted him in taking her in some form. I think you're right. Um, I, because Heather's too crazy. You know what I'm saying? To keep up, even if she did lose a child, she would still be talking about it. You, you see what I'm saying? She, I don't think she's the mother. And the way she is about Scott, if her and Ryan messed around, she was still, nah, she's, she's scared of Ryan. You know, it's something, something else. Artist 61 says, I heard on a couple of spoilers, spoilers that Britt will take her own life. And Austin will be a part of it. Dear God, I hope that's not true. I couldn't deal with that storyline. Me either. That would be... 
Well, I did read in the spoilers that her and Austin are going to get together and she's going to recruit him to help her get some stuff done before, you know, she can't do some things for herself. But I assumed it would be like, you know, checking off a bucket list. Who knows? I would hate to see it. But in Stephanie's responding, she says, oh, wow, an assisted suicide storyline would make no provision for her return. Yeah, I hope they don't do that. I hope they just send her away to get some treatment and she can come back and get better. That would suck. I would hate that. That would be a really dark storyline for Britt and a very safe. It would be hard for me to get over that one. Robert Joseph Foley. Hello, Robert. Your name doesn't look familiar. If this is your first time commenting, thank you for commenting and welcome. Robert says, different topic. Has anyone noticed that the Quartermain's Thanksgiving song is note for note the same as the Nazi anthem from Cabaret? Tomorrow belongs to me. We gather together. Who plagiarized who? Put it in the comments. VA circle, I'm turning to you for this one. Is that right? Is that the uh, Nazi anthem song? They sing that song every year. And no, I didn't notice it because I've... um. I'm not familiar with cabaret. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. Put it in the comments. What do you guys know about that? Thank you for that information, Robert. We always like to learn something new. Artist 61 says, well, that did it. Robert is officially becoming the dumbest WSB agent ever. If he really allowed Holly to steal the necklace, go on the run to the cabin in the woods that conveniently caught fire and exploded and she burns to death. This is not the super agent we know. Plus, their little tent was set up right outside the window of the cabin. How the hell didn't Holly see it? And as we saw her looking out the window constantly, and the cop doesn't hold the guy in a suit walking in the woods. Poor Charles has the worst police department on the small screen. They do. I thought the same thing. And he was asking questions. He should have been detained. Um, that was a uh, what's his face, Victor's bodyguard. Also, I agree. What is going on with Robert? Robert was really good back in the day. They're really making his kid. Why are they dumbing him down for Holly? I'm upset. I'm hoping that it's still some kind of plan, some kind of plot. I'm hoping that they're not making him this daft for her. Stephanie Clark says, I so can't stand poor Charles police. They couldn't solve a crime if you paid them. No pun intended. And Linda says, when I saw that Robert was wasn't working with Holly. I felt sick, sick. Me too. I was so disappointed. She says, I can't stand seeing Robert acting this way. I don't even know him as a super agent. So I can't even imagine how all of you who knew him that way feels betrayed, bewildered, and confused. That's how I feel. She concludes, if I was Robert, I don't think I could live with myself after that. What is his hesitation with talking to Jordan? He found out Lucy is still alive for crying out loud. I had to laugh Though, when I seen where they had the tent set up, by the time I had forgot about the guy in the suit lurking around, I suppose, he has the necklace now, us, uh, so maddening. Yeah, he probably has the necklace. I guarantee him. Um, we'll probably see in a flashback because when Holly grabbed the briefcase and knocked over the fire thing, the lantern, she probably handed it off to him sneakily some kind of way. We'll see it in a flashback. Honestly... Is irritating. Oh, also, um, Artist 61, I think Stephanie and Linda, I think these were replies to your comments. So the girls were talking. Michael Armstrong, thank you so much. Michael Armstrong did me a big, big favor um, and redid his comment regarding how Curtis could be a quarter main. So it's kind of long. Bear with me. Here we go. He says, no problem, Baroness. My post was related to Curtis Marshall potential paternity storyline. The lab results hinted that Curtis didn't have any markers for schizophrenia, which was unusual if they want to go down the road of who's your dad, the who's your dad storyline with Curtis and Marshall. The only acceptable paternity swap storyline would be uh, discovering Curtis is a quarter main. Edward Quartermain had an affair with Mary May War, an African-American woman played by the late Rosalind Cash of Omega Man, famed with Charleston Heston at Uptown Saturday Night with Sidney Poitier who had a son named Bradley played by Aaron Seville in 1945. Bradley and Marshall would be about the same age. Bradley is the older brother of Alan Quartermain. Tracy Quartermain and Jimmy Lee Holt on Edward's side and David Ward played by Riff Hutton. Let's stop right there for a second, you guys. Okay. So, Bradley and 
Jimmy Lee Ho are related in some form. So do you guys think, just put it in the comments real quick because I don't want to lose my place. Put it in the comments if you think some of the uh, Bradley's people, the black quarter mains are in Pawtuck. Because people keep, you know how Mason keeps saying the family is waiting. Put it in the comments. We may be way off. We were thinking of a character that we already are familiar, familiar with. Like Olivia or Jennifer being the female behind, you know, pulling the strings in Pawtuck. It could be a black quarter man. Put it in the comments. Okay. Because um, remember, we were even saying that um, maybe Jimmy Lee Holt isn't dead. Who's pulling the strings? Man. This would be a way. Okay, he continues and says, Father of Keisha Ward, played by Sanat Assens, I don't know. And I think he pronounces this one, Ideas Ward, played by Joyce Douglas on Mary May's side. Unfortunately, Bradley was killed by mob boss Frank Smith after he won a congressional seat. See, I do remember that. Bradley was trying to clean up the Charles Street area, the docks, before Bradley's assassination. Curtis's mom, Irene Ashford, could have had an affair with Bradley. Marshall was a musician who traveled a lot. Uh, there have been hints that that marriage was trouble. Another question that comes to mind, did Marshall suspect he might be Curtis's, not be, I'm sorry. Did Marshall suspect he might not be Curtis's father? He seemed saddened by Curtis not having any markers. He could, he, it could be explained away as happiness. See, it, it looks like he was upset and concerned and confused, not happy. And he covered it up by saying these were tears of joy. He was so overjoyed. Curtis would not be affected by this horrible disease. But what if it's confirmed? It confirmed his worst nightmare. He's not Curtis's father, as he always suspected. Irene could have become pregnant. Hold on. I got to make it big. Okay. Um, she could have become pregnant. Um, and he says also on Stella, I think I lost something though. It's like, I can't cause it was so long. Hold on. Let me see if I can see his cutting off where it says Bradley could have. Okay. I think I found it. I think I'm back where I need to be. Give me a second y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm going to start over from like right here where it says there have been hints. There have been uh, hints that the marriage was trouble. Another question that comes to mind that Marshall suspects he might not be Curtis's father. He seems saddened by Curtis not having any markers. It could be explained away as happiness. He was so overjoyed. Curtis would not be affected by this horrible disease. But what if it confirmed his worst nightmare? He's not Curtis's father, as he always suspected. Irene could have become pregnant and found out shortly after Bradley's death. Bradley could have died without knowing Curtis, without knowing Curtis was on the way. Also, Aunt Stella would know if her sister had an affair and that Bradley is Curtis's biological father. Bradley had two children on the show with his wife, Isabel. No known on-screen performance. Oldest daughter, Faith, played by Faith Collins, possible sister who is about 10 years older than Curtis, around Ned's age, and Justice, played by Joseph Phillips, Joseph C. Phillips, Denise's husband, Martin, from The Cosby Show. I'm going to put the picture up. Possible late brother who is about five years older than Curtis. Faith Ward has a daughter, Maya, played by Annie, who is about the age of Brooklyn, who are both Edward's great-granddaughters. This would make Curtis' first cousin to Ned. Drew, Austin, and Dylan. See, if Trina turns out to be Curtis's daughter, she would be a great grandchild of Edward, like Brooklyn, Maya, Michael, Jake, Danny, and Emily Scout. I would want to be a black quarter man and work for ELQ. I'm trying to go back to the time. Do you remember when Austin was starting to meet people and Maxie was introducing him to people? If anybody remembers, please put it in the comments. If you remember Austin's reaction when he found out that Marshall's last name was Ashford. And do you guys remember that reaction? I'm not talking about because it was a strange reaction between him and Cody as well when they found out each other's last names, but it was a strange, I might be mistaken, but I swear it was a strange reaction when Marshall was introduced to um, Austin and they found out each other's last names. Put it in the comments if I'm right or wrong. 
And Michael said he wants to be a black quartermate and work at EOQ. Okay, you're going to be yelled at by Michael and Ned is going to try to get you fired. And Drew going to go around hugging you all day if that's the job. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for doing that again. And actually, Mike, um, this one was better than the first one. Thank you so much. This one was much more detailed, and I appreciate it. I hope the writers are listening. Make that happen. That would be so fun. Stephanie is responding to um, Michael because let me tell you, people loved it. Stephanie says, loving the Black Quarter Main Theory with Curtis. I'm glad I inquired about their presence, Me Too, on the soap. And um, she says, Michael, great summary. Otherworldly response that says this read better than anything developing or in play from General Hospital's writers. Can you, will you submit it to the creative team of GH? Please, please, please. And Michael responds says, I know they've been struggling lately. My biggest pet peeve is bad writing history. As if there aren't longtime fans, there should be someone in charge of getting it right. Can you submit something like that, Michael? You should look into that. Honest to goodness, um, otherworldly, if you know a way for him to do that, put it in the comments or you guys get together and figure it out because you guys are really good at this. And I'm sure that these networks and stuff are always looking for something new. And I would just, I would be so proud. (laughs) I would be so freaking proud. See what you guys, if you guys can find out something about that. Michael is responding again. It says, S. Stephanie Clark, thanks so much. And at Otherworldly, thanks so much. I don't understand some of their missed opportunities with these characters. Yeah, they do drop the ball quite a bit um, with the characters. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end it here. I know it. I didn't pull a lot, but I wanted to get Michael's. Um, comment because it was long and it was really good and I wanted to get what you guys thought about it. I'm going to do another comment after the recap and I need to get to work because I haven't done anything. Thank you so much for listening to me, Jen Hens, and I'll catch you in a minute.